Hello my darlings, I hope you're well. Today I am behind the camera and I know that this doesn't look very appealing but what's inside is gonna kill you. So uh, today I'm gonna show you my current perfume collection and storage which is in this chest of drawers, cupboard, however you want to call it. I think it's called cupboard, right? <laughs> Um, so yeah, as you know, I recently moved into a new apartment in Poland and uh, let's be honest, this is not very my style of furniture, but I roll with what I have because I'm renting, so this is how it looks like, but actually, even though it's not the prettiest, by the way, I'm sorry for the ring light, it's very dark today, so I had to shed some light on what you're gonna see, uh, but yeah, basically... This is uh, where I keep my perfumes at the moment. And I must say, this uh, cupboard actually came in very, very handy because I can have all my perfumes separated by color and also they are, uh, you know, in their own nice space. So yeah, here I just have some decorative objects. So let's start. As you can see, we have three little shelves and this is the first one. Ta -da! So that is my golden section, if you know what I mean. Um, I color coordinated my perfumes because I finally was able to do so because of that massive cupboard that I have. So these are my gold perfumes. I'm gonna get to them in a second. Here below, I have my black, red and white bottles. Um, logic behind the color coordination? Not sure, <laughs> not sure, but it works, okay? It just works. So these are the black and red and white bottles. And at the very bottom, I know it's not very um, handy. Here I just have so-called colorful <laughs> perfumes. So, you know, mainly like greens and blues and some um, purples and pinks. So yeah, we are actually going to start from here, from the bottom. And I'm going to take you through all the perfumes that I have uh, with no particular order, just uh, how they are spread. And there are many new perfumes and also many perfumes were missing from my South African collection. So I thought it would be a good idea to give you a recap. And also show you some, you know, storage ideas and stuff. So here I have my pinks uh, and here I have my uh, Angel Muse and Angel Nova, my Scandal, um, Guerlain Insolence, Insolence, uh, some Reminiscence. Um, those two little flowers are Dolce Garden and Dolce Shine. I hate the bottles, but yeah. Uh, here I have some Narciso and of course all my dark purple ones, which we have Intense Cafe, Alien, two labels. Um, let me focus properly. Okay, I hope you can see properly. Uh, Razazi and here we have uh, Pure Excess by Paco Rabanne. And here we have the greens. So we have Aura and my new Marc Jacobs with my... Um, self-created cap <laughs> yeah um and here we of course have my favorite chanel chance of fresh uh there is some cloud bar by ariana grande and dolce um light blue in the back the intense version and here we have um hermes jardin sur le nil and of course, the ambulance is coming now. <laughs> and here we have um, Cavalli Gemma di Paradiso and Chocolate Greedy, which doesn't have the name anymore because of traveling. But yeah, it's Chocolate Greedy. All right, next section. Uh, this one is actually a big one. So here on this side, we have white bottles. So we have two... Killians, uh, Love Don't Be Shy and Dangerous Liaisons. Then we have Dragé by Reminiscence and Eau de Soleil Blanc by Tom Ford. Here we have Parfums de Marley in the very back. This is Herod. Then we have right here uh, Cavalli Nero Assoluto. And here from the red section, uh, we have Angel, not Angel, it's Alien Fusion. 
um, Jo Malone Roses Mask Absolute, of course my favorite Rouge Malakite, uh, and two um, Hypnotic Poisons right here, and Poison Girl. Uh, here in the back, this is where I stole the cap from to make Marc Jacobs nice. Um, here we have um, Sea Sheila by Swiss Arabian, very nice perfume. Uh, another one of my favorites is Dolce Gabbana, the only one intense. Of course, Crystal Noir, I have the EDT version, but I will be ordering a backup, which will be the EDP. And here we have, of course, Addict. Here we have actually my boyfriend's perfume, which is Dolce & Gabbana, The Royal Night. Very nice one. I actually mix it with some of my fragrances as well. Uh, here I have Tom Ford Noir Pour Femme. I left Noir Extreme with my boyfriend for now. Uh, he will bring it to me when he comes. Two Kayalis and um, another Jo Malone, which is Mir and Tonka. And here we have... Francis Kurjan Oud Satin Wood and of course the bombs which are Princess After Sunset and Kissing my backup of uh, Princess is in South Africa okay and now I think honestly this is my favorite one to look at because it's also nice and shiny and luxurious looking I'll I'll be completely honest I just love love this first shelf Okay, what should I start with? Maybe from here again. So here I keep my Belayered Fragrances, which is um, First Kiss Exclusive, the Lina Exclusive Dupe. Then we have First Kiss, which is the Lina Dupe. And here we have um, Cherry Delight. I don't know why it's not focusing. Oh, here we go. Cherry Delight, which is Tom Ford Lost Cherry Dupe. Um, then we have Olympia Intense, the original Olympia I actually ended up uh, keeping with my boyfriend because my luggage was too heavy. <laughs> Even though I had 100 kilograms to take, it was too heavy. Whatever. Life. Uh, here we have Alaya Nude. I really, really love this perfume. Here we have... Um, what is this? Alien Oud. Very, very nice. I really, really love it. Uh, but you have to be used to Oud, you know, otherwise you're not going to like it. Uh, here we have an another Cavalli. This one is the original Eau de Parfum. Very nice one. And it actually is very similar to this one. Uh, but I must say I prefer the Cavalli. This one is the Jean-Paul Gaultier um, Essence de Parfum, or however it's called. I think it's... Is it? I think so. Yeah. Classic Essence de Parfum. Very nice. It's like orange blossom oriental fragrance. Uh, here are two of Al Haramein. Uh, first one is Amber Oud Gold, uh, which is the Duke for Herba Pura. And here we have Al Haramein Amber Oud Rouge, which is a supposedly Duke for Baccarat Rouge. And they are very, very similar. But this one has an addition of oud, so it's more masculine, it's sharper, it's deeper and more woody. But I really, really like it, I must say. Okay, here we have two aliens, the same ones, which is the Extra Ordinaire, but this one is on its last leg, so I'm just going to use it up. Uh, here we have Mancera Instant Crush. I've been raving about this, I love it, it's so strong. And here we have... Shahaf Oud by Swiss Arabian and in the back we have another Swiss Arabian which is Casablanca and I must be honest I do like wearing it on me but I also love spraying it in my room it it's just so good okay uh, here we have Santal Noir by Dior I'm gonna definitely get into more Dior fake fragrances from the Maison range uh, YSL Libre uh, and also I will be getting the intense version because I really want to test it out another one of my favorites is Elisable Parfum very nice uh, like honeyed jasmine and here we have Miss Dior okay here uh, in the very middle we have of course Baccarat Rouge 540 by Courjan I did have a smaller bottle which I used up and I also had the extract but it got stolen from my handbag. Sad things. 
Um, here we have Jasmine's Marzipan by Lancome. And actually, this is my scent of the day. I'm wearing it right now. So I'll put it nicely in the back, right by its sister, which is Oud Bouquet. Love this one. I did the full comparison between Oud Bouquet and Shahaf Oud. So if you haven't seen it yet, uh, I will link the video in the screen for you. So here we have another my trusty oldie but a goodie fragrance. I just repurchased it and this is Alien Eau Sublime. Many of you still ask me, even though I made so many videos on it, uh, which is better, Eau Sublime or Extraordinaire. I would say if you don't like Alien, go for Extraordinaire because this one is basically Alien with citruses. This one is a little bit different, has its own DNA. So I prefer Extraordinaire for its uniqueness. Uh, of course, <laughs> Coco Chanel Mademoiselle Intense. Again, I left the original with my boyfriend because I decided I don't need both of them. But I miss it already. <laughs> I miss it already. Okay, here we have one of my... Woo! Oh, sorry baby. Here we have Safanade by Parfums de Marley, another beautiful orange blossom vanilla scent. Very, very nice one. It's definitely softer than um, Jean-Paul Gaultier or Cavalli. So if you want something very sensual and super classy, go for Safanade. Here we have um, Lampe de Meuve, I think it is. Yes, this is Lampe de Meuve. I also do have Elixir de Meuve, but it's upstairs with my mom. She's using it at the moment. So yeah, this one is very nice. I missed it. And here we have another perfume that I got in South Africa. This is Chanel Ch Chance, the original Eau de Parfum. Very nice. And here we have Elisab, um, Girl of Now. Beautiful Tonka Pistachio. And of course, my last baby is Francis Courjean Gentle Fluidity Gold. I love it so, so much, guys. So, so much. Beautiful fragrance. Okay, so this is an overview. Again, here are my, like, you know, goldish, nice, luxurious looking bottles. Here are all my dark ones. If you need a review of any of them, it's surely already on my channel, so go check it out. Whatever you need, it should be already there. Oh, I didn't actually mention Zara. Uh, this is Intense Dark Exclusive, and I also did have the, the the other tobacco one, which was the Warm Rich Addictive, but actually it broke, so I need to repurchase because I love them both. And this one is actually very long-lasting, so check it out. Yeah, so this is the dark, sexy, and a little bit angelic <laughs> of a shelf. And here are, again, all my colorful perfumes that basically the color of the bottles didn't match anything. So that's that. And now I am going to show you the display that um, I'm using currently to put my most beautiful bottles. All right, so here we are at my dresser in my bedroom. I'm just going to give you a little sneak peek because I will be doing the house tour, but this is how... The bedroom looks like <laughs> at least a part of it so uh, here as you can see is my makeup but I also have all these drawers and cupboards full so I will get to it when I do the house tour and these flowers are so beautiful aren't they I love them so much and yeah and the vase is also it's actually my mom's it's Rosenthal um, I I know she doesn't mind that I'm using it, but I know if I break it, I'm going to be dead. <laughs> okay, so these are the last perfumes that I have, and these are the only ones that I have on display because the bottles look so beautiful in this current setup of mine that I already have shown you. So yeah, of course, as you can see, these are two Parfums de Marly and one Amouage. Unfortunately, I wanted to put Safanat here as well, but Safanat has the gold tone of the cap and the bottle, so it didn't really match. And this just looks so pretty, doesn't it? I'm thinking of putting like a tray here, but on the other hand, I don't want it to be too cluttered, you know, because already there's a lot of things on the 
on the counter. So I don't know, let me know what you think. But here we have Cassili, Dalina, and Love Tuberose. I love mixing Love Tuberose with Jasmine's Marzipan that I'm wearing today. So check it out if you have those two fragrances, mix them together, they're very nice together. And yeah, Cassili and Lina, to be completely honest, I am gravitating way more towards Cassili now that I have it. I, I know this is a shocker because everybody loves the Lina, and I love it too. But um, I am definitely getting the Lina exclusive as well, I said it many times before, and I'm just finally gonna just get it. Uh, and I think I prefer the Lina exclusive at the moment. And number two would be Cassili. And then on number three would be the Lina. But I don't know. I don't know, guys. It changes so often. But yeah, this is how it looks like, guys. I hope you like it. Um, I'm gonna make a full house tour very, very soon. I'm just literally waiting for a set of curtains to arrive. And then I'll be ready to go. Um, as I said, this apartment is being rented because me and my mom are building a new house now. So yeah, uh, I'm staying uh, in a new apartment on my own for the, you know, for the couple of months, I think. Uh, so yeah, I just had to, you know, wiggle around, see what I can work with because these furnitures... I are not mine and they're not very my style to be completely honest uh, but you know I'll, I'm just trying to make it work like put nice flowers put something that's like my touch you know so yeah I uh, hope you enjoyed the video it was quite short but sweet and please let me know if you want to see the house tour even please let me know I would love to make one for you but yeah, I need to know if you're interested. So that's that, guys. Thank you so much for watching and see you in the next video. Bye!